My name is uh, John William Bailly. My father is French, my mother's from America, and I was born in the UK. I've been working on the 10,000 Years of Miami project as a way to examine our transatlantic uh, cultural and biological relationships between Europe and the Americas. And also just the name itself of 10,000 Years of Miami is to challenge a notion of what is the popular perception of Miami and what was my perception of Miami before I started this project and what is the reality. So in, in many ways, the perception is that Miami does not have a history, when in fact, at the Deering Estate here, we find human remains that are from 4,000 years ago, so that our, actually our history is rich and it's actually very diverse. And my paintings are an, a way to share the journey that I've taken in rediscovering the history of Miami. I've had the great fortune here to work with um, four interns that have helped me through this process. And what I found is that there's this really um, productive relationship that happens as I was ex exploring these different questions of history and identity. And then the students that were helping me were also engaging in this self-reflection, which became part of all of the paintings. But then there's the other side, which is the conceptual side, which is where we start to look at how we answer these questions. And so that as the paintings are meant to evoke a conversation, the conversation that I'm having in the studio is similar to the conversation that's going on in the painting. And so I see them come in as freshmen that are looking to professors um, for answers. And they come to me and I only have questions for them. And then I see them over the years that by the end they have asserted themselves much more than when I first met them. And as a mentor, a mentor is kind of a weird thing because it, it, it implies that um, we've done something for them. But it's really all we do is we ask questions and then give them the room for them to do it themselves. And the strong ones do that. And, and I have to say that being a mentor is, it's not teaching a skill set. It's almost like being a spectator to the growth of someone and supporting them in their decisions. Um, and that, that to me is a real, it's a privilege. Being a mentor is a privilege. I was with um, some of the students that have, from FIU that have been working with me here as interns and we were snorkeling in the bay right off the, the Deering Estate. And then as we're getting out of the water, uh, Jerry Stecka, one of the, uh, the employees here, and my friend, says, you know, five guys died dredging this channel. And I thought, who are these guys? And how have I enjoyed this bay for so many years without thinking of or knowing of these guys? So I made a series of seven paintings called The Forgotten. And we know the five uh, men that died at the Deering Estate were Afro-Caribbean or African-American. So I made paintings of them. And then since I was able to visit Sitges in Spain, I did two portraits of the forgotten of Sitges. And hopefully now somebody will see them and it will raise an awareness that we're interconnected. The paintings in a sense are a reflection of my um, journey of discovery and my hope is that an audience member would see this, a viewer would see this and start to see juxtapositions of seemingly unrelated material that actually belongs together.
These journeys of the mind, these journeys of cultures, these transcultural relationships, they enrich us all. And to go on a journey of discovery is something that we should all do.